what's up little ghouls and goblins out there um did i have another bout of insomnia last night it's quite possible do i have bags under my eyes more than likely did i sleep in my makeup and wake up and decide it, or like not wake up but actually i get up and uh uh, off the couch and do wanted to do something uh, and I didn't wash my face first mm, there might be a good chance that that happened uh, you know that's life everything's kind of like mixed up my days and nights are all mixed up uh, because I've not been on a regular schedule because of the good old Rona that's out there uh, so my body's been like what is wrong with you, idiot? That's what my body was like, right? Um, I am doing a toxic makeup right now. Um, I am going to work down from that list. And I thought, you know, I better do the Rona makeup. I was going to do it the other day. And uh, I, um, I got lazy. <laughs> I would just be honest with you. I just got lazy. Actually, I had a really bad headache. Uh, uh, and that is the truth. Um, but yeah, no, so I, I'm going to work down that list that uh, all the suggestions, I loved every single one of them. So I will be doing it. Uh, good morning, Maureen. Hello. Hello. Um, so yeah, so I am, uh, going live. Anybody watching this right now, I'm going, I'm going live, uh, around three o'clock ish today. Um, because also another one of the, the mentions on there, uh, for suggested makeup looks is drag and, you know, there is a, a Halloween haunt horror um, a show that I've been slightly obsessed with called Dragula. And let me tell you, those gals on there, freaking their makeup, oh my God, make me look like I am a freaking kindergartner finger painting all over my face. They are amazing. Um, so I have a friend of mine who is a drag queen here in Columbus, Ohio, and he tours and uh, is just amazing. Uh, Dee, Tasha, uh, otherwise known as Tasha, uh, she's going to be introducing me to some drag makeup. We're going to be doing some drag together. So uh, I love and miss you too, Katie. That's my niece, Katie, guys. So yeah, so I'll be doing drag makeup later today, but um, insomnia kind of got to me and so, uh, and I got tired of laying on the couch. I think I'm getting like a bed sore or something back there. So I need to stop and get up and do something. Okay, so toxic look, uh, it, it has, it, it, it doesn't have any of the symptoms that Rona does, but uh, 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 like, I'm gonna be doing like some pustules and some sunken in and maybe some green and yellow looking real sick, you know? Uh, but you know, I, it is what it is. I have no idea what I'm doing today or what words I'm gonna be choosing to, to actually speak and come out of my mouth. I'm so sleep deprived. <laughs> I'm so sad. Okay, let's get into it, right? Okay. So for this toxic look, now a lot of haunted houses um, have toxic scenes um, where doctors gone wrong or they had some like toxic waste or whatever and then things start to glow. And uh, a lot of these uh, uh, looks are because of the glowing. A lot of people have uh, UV in that area, which is awesome. And you can totally do UV aspects um, I am choosing not to F up my pores with UV makeup right now because I do have to do another video later. And, um, so yeah, so that's why I chose not to do UV, but you could easily do this in UV, um, using those colors. Uh, maybe that'll be one of my things, like a tutorial on how to use, um, <laughs> right? Oh my God. Yes. So I want to do like some makeup, uh, or maybe I'll do like a, a little con, you know, a little thingy on how do you use, how to use UV, how to put it on and so on and so forth. Maybe that's an idea, but yeah. So, um, I'm going to start with, I know I say I'm a brush whore, 
um, but I'm actually using my sponges and I'm loading it up on the yellow right here. Again, I'm using, as always, my water-based paints and uh, I might throw in some shadows. Uh, who am I kidding? I always use shadow, right? I did and it was fabulous. Oh my God. It was amazing. All right, here we go. I'm going to dab this all over and there's like Ooh, baby, I'm yellow. Mm, mm, mm. So I love all the seasons. I love summer the best, right? This is this yellow gets me. gets me thinking about one of my favorite flowers that I look forward to seeing in the spring. Just kind of solidifies the fact that winter is finally over. Oh, screw it. I'm just going to smear it. Nobody really cares. I mean, if we're doing, honestly, if we're doing this for a haunted house, it's going to be so dim anyways. Whatever. Don't forget the ears, guys. Don't forget the ears. Cover up them grays a little bit. Let's get in there. Let's get in there. There we go. Going back to my my flower thing, uh, the the uh, forsythia, like they all started blooming, and uh, I love 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 seeing that because it means winter is finally on its way out. I hate the cold. I hate the snow. I hate the cold. Oof. I put the camera in the, 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 the mirror so high. <laughs> I can't see myself. Mm, let me fix this. Hold on. Okay. There you go. Okay. Good. Yeah. So this will just be like a fun little toxic look. Goes great with like a hazmat suit. Or any really like I guess if you're exposed to toxic waste you either a are in a hazmat suit or B you are like one of the people that happen to be living in the area where the toxic toxicity occurred right maybe a patient who was injected with a, a toxic substance my ear is not getting yellow enough there we go yeah. That's how, it's like giving yourself a wet willy, right? Ooh, you have a Creature Feature Friday. I can't even say it. Creature Feature Friday? What? Plug yourself, okay? Plug yourself. Seriously. Tell me what is your Feature Creature Friday. Tell everybody, not just me. All right, as I pat my neck waddle there. All right, okay. Now, because I am a total noob, I tend to draw in some lines first because that's my process. <laughs> a lot of people will wait till the end to do their line work, but I like to see kind of like the general area of how I'm gonna plan out where certain features are on my face. And um, um, yeah, and so I, I kind of like pre-line out things. Okay, so on your Insta, nice. You do makeup every Friday, that's UV makeup, and I do looks nice and Q&As during it. Cool. What's your Insta? So everybody has your Insta so they can check you out. <laughs> you're doing a zombie look nice with the gas mask they're very appropriate for the rona there's a lot of people walking around with uh gas masks on right now uh i find it kind of funny but you know if it works i gotta get my angry brows on mm. 
All right. All right, 45. Come down, up. Now I'm an angry, toxic person. Cool. I got my angry eyes. Ooh, one, one eye is bigger. Ah, oh, who cares? All right. I'm gonna carve out my temple. What? Like so. Cheekbones for days. Cheekbones for days. All right. Ooh, I look like I have like little inverted devil horns, but that's cool. That's cool. It's good. It's all good. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't come down here. I'm obsessing over this a little too much. I need to stop. Okay. Woo! And if you're old like me and you have like lines otherwise known as wrinkles on your face then you can, you can just smile make frisses and you'll find your lines nostrils I'm gonna have some I'm gonna give myself a little bit a little bit bigger nostrils because as if my honk and nose wasn't big enough so woo yeah baby if sticking your wet sponge in your ear is like a wet willy what is sticking a wet brush just right above your nostril, like. What's the term? I don't even know. Do we need to make up a term for that? <laughs> I'm so angry. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm just making some lines here. I see I have like, I'm starting to develop. Wrinkles on my neck now. Yeah, boy. Okay. There's where I'm going to go. So, I'm going to take... Which one? I'm just going to take my liner brush because it's what I grabbed first. Um, and I'm going to... Actually, no. I lied. I'm going to take my filbert. My filbert, a filbert. Chris, I miss you too, love. That's a filbert, you guys. It's kind of like a cross between a flat brush and a round brush. It's got a little round end. It holds paint beautifully. Now, occasionally I will color um, the inside part here of this eye with black. I'll take the black all the way up. But this look in particular, I don't want that. I want a sunken in appearance. 
And um, in reality and in truth, if it's sunken in, it's not going to be just flat black all the way. You're going to have some areas where it's going to be shadowed. I'm going to take that down. And I haven't reloaded my brush. What's on it is what's on it. So then at one point it becomes almost like a dry brush. And you can carry that down and carry that shadow straight down. And you could do this with eyeshadow if you wanted. Now, I want to change the shape of my face. And uh, I'm going to change my nose. I want my nose to look like it's a little bit wider than what it is. And so instead of bringing this down and coming around like normal beauty makeup, I'm going to take this. I'm going to flare it out right here where my nostrils are. And it's going to give me a big old schnauza. And around there. And around there. And I'm with my same brush. I haven't loaded it at all. I'm going to inside there and create a shadow amongst those lines. I could give you a big hug too. I wish I could hug everybody in the world right now. But social distancing right now is not letting me. And that's a sad, sad day. Because I'm a hugger, you guys. Alright. I'm just taking a little bit of brown. And without getting too technical, I'm just throwing it down right there. And then I'm going to take my filbert that I have not loaded. It's still dry from all the other times I used it just recently on my face. I'm going to drag that out. Boop. Just like that. We're going to drag this one out. Ooh. Oh, yeah. And use some of that there. How about, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there. Oh. Little bit, fade that up. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. And then swirl that around. And we can drag that out. We're going to swirl this around. Ooh, yeah. Swirling the brown. And just. All right. Oh, snap. You know what? Hold on. Before I do that, while wow, my brush is just... I'm going to give me some... <laughs> you know what's really sad? Is before this video started, because literally, like I said, up all night, and uh, uh, I literally came up here and with the makeup that I still had on from yesterday, and uh, uh, just threw on some concealer on my bags, and here I am drawing bags under my eyes when I already had them. And then I hide them, or I tried, tried to hide them. I hid them, and now I'm, like, bringing them back. Anyways. Okay. More shading. Pick up a brush and just throw in some brown down. And now we're going to happily, I'm going to wipe some of that off. There we go. Happily fade that down. Just like that. Happy little cheekbones there. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. All right. Come on down. Oof. 
you like. I want two sparks for that. You know what? I honestly don't think that there is anything more hard in the world than making a fat chick look gaunt. It just doesn't sound like it's supposed to. You know what I mean, though? More expression lines. But I did not want to go too dark with it. Ooh, baby. I'm a sexy beast. Yeah. Just with the edge of that filbert again, I did not load it. I'm still using, it's called a dry brush. Any residual paint left on that will give us a shadow effect. I'm not paying attention to comments. Sorry. Okay, nobody's commenting because I'm not liked. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think I need a little bit more brown on that. I want to keep my filbert. From getting too much of uh, just straight paint on it. So that way I do get that desired fade effect. As you guys look up her nose, yeah, that's the money shot right there. Bye, double chin. We'll see you later. Cool, cool. Now, I am gonna get a second filbert. Hold on here. So, I'm going to do a different color now, and I wanna fade that out. I'm gonna go into some white, and I'm gonna do some highlights. The highlights are going to be right here. Just like that. You could if you so so choose not to fade that out hell I might even go back in there and uh, add some of those strong lines back but that'll help bring forward this area here 
Oh my God, Tana, you're watching? Or you just scrolled by, I can't tell. I just see your name and I love and miss you so much. And seeing you in like for freaking ever. I'm actually gonna go a little bit more there. There we are. Oh, hey, Mike. Aisha just joined the party. What's up, yo? All right, I'm gonna bring that down. Oh, yeah, baby. That's how I like it, right there. Big old nostrils. <laughs> Woo! Cool. Let's highlight this big old chin of mine that I got going on here. Yeah. There we go. Good morning to you too. Aisha, did you know I'm doing another look today? Girl, 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 let me tell you. Girl, I'm doing drag makeup today. I'm so excited. Oof. That might have been a little too strong there. Crap. When I take my brush down, I'm wiping against, I have a towel down here and I'm just wiping the excess paint off as I slowly work this out. I like the lip. So people can see your kisser. You know you want this. We're gonna highlight these bags of mine. Because it's not enough that I have natural bags. I got to make them bigger. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, baby, yeah. Ah! That's too much! No! Alright, wait, hold on. Mom, I can't. Okay. A beautiful I itch my nose. Alright. Uh 
so sexy here. Mm, I feel like maybe here too. Possibly, quite possibly. Yeah, that works. Yeah, yeah. Boom, bitches. Who does that remind you of? Bob Ross, right? Really like, can you hear that? Splash it in the water. And then beat the devil out of it. Okay. Going back to the brush, the filbert that had all the gross brown stuff on it. I'm going to be adding black to this look now. And I only want to do the eyelid for the eyes. <clears throat> Isn't that a beautiful thing right there? A little more. Oh, yes, I'm fabulous, you guys. A little bit of black on the edge there. We're going to fade that out. We're working our way into our depth from the sides here. So we're going to, we did the light first. And then we did a brown to darken that up. And now we're going to go over it with a little bit of black. You don't want to hide all the brown. You want that gradual darkening, that fade look. So we're going to take it in steps. Little touch there. Do a little bit more on the side. Yeah, boy. All right. Where's my granny mirror? There it is. Yeah. Oh, boys and girls, me likey. With this, again, I'm gonna go, I'm not gonna cover up all the brown. Again, it's a dry brush. I wanna just bring some of that black even further down on the nose. So if you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to take, again, the dry brush. And I'm just going to go right around this area here. 
So that is the effect that I'm trying to go for versus the other side. So let's do that over here. When I'm doing a toxic look, um, I love using yellow, whether regardless it's if it's UV or if it's not. And the reason why I use yellow is because that it will look good in any light. So when you are, you, know, you you've got a, a, a you know a red light or a green light or whatever light you're going for, uh, sometimes black and white is all that you need, but. Um, other than making it, give it like a sick look. I'm, I'm trying to figure out the right words here because me and words aren't friends right now. But, um, you know, it doesn't matter if you're like, if you've got a UV toxic scene or if you just have a regular lit UV scene, or I'm not UV, uh, a regular lit uh, uh, scene in your haunt, that yellow will work well with any color. If, if it's too dark, or, or I'm sorry, not too dark, but very dark in that room and you don't have a whole lot of lighting, Yellow is an awesome alternative to then just doing a straight black and white face. Um, strobe, I love using yellow with strobe lights. Uh, it just, it really creeps people out. It catches their attention and uh, yeah, so I, I like to use yellow a lot. So yeah, that's why I chose yellow. Okay, cool, cool. I'm gonna take a bit of dark brown here and I'm gonna start putting in a few more lines. Now the only difference with, I would make with these lines, these character lines that I'm doing is if your actor or your character is in queue line and they're outside and they're it's really well lit and people can really see them, I tend to go for brown over black because just it looks better. You don't need that strong of uh, a, a line there, although you could use black if you wanted to. Uh, but if you were actually an actor inside the haunt and you're not in queue line. I love you too. Oh, you can't see that. There you go. If you are an actually an actor inside the haunt, um, where it's not very well lit, then I would probably go black with these character lines. Um, because brown, you just ain't going to see them. So. And you can see these are kind of like an X. Your first line goes in the middle here and then your other lines start to slowly change. There we are, where there's that.
don't know if you guys can see all of the lines that I'm putting in. right on all right now what is going to make this toxic is i'm going to give me some pustules yay pustules i don't think anybody else is ever as excited to make pustules on their face as i am See, I could do this for hours. This is like self-entertaining, you guys. I can sit here and watch myself make weird faces in the mirror the whole time. It's part of the funness of it. Okay. Pustules. Whoa. Whoa. Hold on. I didn't give myself any age spots or anything. Back up a minute. Okay, you guys. I got a Bob Ross. Ready? Hold on. My favorite thing when I'm doing these old age looks is or not old age looks, but any look really that's just maybe might resemble kind of a sick human being or somebody who's been through some shit, you know what I mean? I take purple and brown, dude. It's like a standard, beautiful color combination in the haunt world. So I'm going to take a little bit of purple and I'm going to go in some dark brown and I'm going to smear it up. Oh, I don't have enough purple. Hold on. It's not, it's not purple enough. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. So it's like that, that right there. And now, now you can give yourself some like, some gnarly spots on you. Maybe you're a Dalmatian zombie. Can't forget your neck. Yeah, boy. My lips look too healthy. Just taking a little bit of that purple brown combination. Just lining. Yeah. That's what I'm looking for right there, yo. And then the same color. I'm going to go under my eyes right here. Give myself a little eyeliner. Not that yet. Ooh, don't stab yourself in the eye. Don't stab. Wouldn't be the first time, won't be the last, but don't stab yourself, Bob Joe. Don't stab yourself. Don't stab yourself. Oh, yes. Hiya. Oh my God, girl. How the freak are you? Guys, tell me, really, y'all just stopped to look at my beautiful face, didn't you? All right. Whoa, I think I'm getting painted. It doesn't matter. I'm going to take a shower anyways. 
D would appreciate it because I'm going to come over to his house later and I'm sure he would like me not to smell. So, all right, I am going to start on the pustules and I'm going to go with just regular garden variety green. Nothing special to it. Just regular old green. And now, oh yeah, and just draw a shit ton of polka dots all over your face. That's that's what I'm doing. That's the process there, guys. That's the thinking. Maybe there are some happy pustules that live like right here on the cheek here. Ooh. I have a friend who really enjoys doing makeup like I do. And, uh, <laughs> if you ever like want to look her up, she goes by tall cat and she makes pustules that actually pop and squeeze out gnarly jargon stuff. And it's just gory, fantastic. And there is absolutely no need to have pustules that actually pop and ooze bull crap in a haunted house because no one's going to stop to see it. But she does it merely because she thinks it's awesome. And it is. It's fun as hell. I think we all kind of do that every once in a while. I know I'll be doing something and I'll be like, this has absolutely nothing to do with anything, and it's purely for my own amusement, period. Yes. Oh, where do I need? I need more. I need more. I need more sickness. Okay. Okay, I'm pustuly. I'm pustuly. All right. Now I'm gonna work my way forward. So we put down the base, the like the the bottom color. I'm gonna go for. This is gonna be overkill for a haunt. I wouldn't go like this many colors. I'm going for it though, but I'm not. I wouldn't typically spend this much time on a person's face, but. Here we go. A little lime green action for you here. I put the dark color down first and add the lighter colors because it's a hell of a lot easier than starting with light and then going around and around and around each one. I can't see. There we go. Boop. I'm just painting myself. I'm singing a happy little song as I do it. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. I 
Did I hold one? We. Oui, I did. Okay. Now. Now I'm going for yellow. I'm going to go right in the yellow. And we're going to go in each one of those again. Again, you say? Yes. Yes, I said again. Because I am extra. Chinny chin chin here on the neck. A little bit more yellow. And now I go to the white. Get a little white on my brush here. Get a little more white because I was, I don't know what the hell I was thinking with that load on the brush there. Good lordy. Did I get them all? Did I get them all? I got them all. 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 All right. I'm going to take my little liner brush. And I'm going to go in that dark brown. And this might be a little hard for you guys to see. It's going to be hard for me to see. So I'm going to get kind of close to my, my granny mirror here so I can see what I'm doing. I'm literally just going to put a little underline underneath each one of these. So, um, and it's all going to be just like half circles. You don't have to carry it all the way around. Uh, when light's hitting things, it's going to be, you know, coming from a top, which is how I want this to be appearing. Uh, you, you're not going to see a harsh line from the top. You're going to see a harsh line on the bottom because that's how the light hits. So, excuse me for a second. I'm going to just put a little line under there and it's going to give it a little bit more definition. Just like that. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? All right. This is a good opportunity. A lot of times, not just also trying to put just a skinny line underneath each 
there's a process when you learn face painting or you're learning to use these water-based paints. And one of the practice things that you do is thin to thick to thin lines. And by that, I mean, you go thin, start off thin, push harder and you go thick and then lifting that brush up and going back to thin. And that's kind of the technique I want to use underneath these little pustules. You're going to start out super thin and then you can make it just a little bit thicker in the middle as you're coming around that and then bringing it back up and making it a little thin again. So Oh, these are going to be hard. I already know it's going to be hard. It's going to suck. Okay. Ooh, I hope it looks okay because I really can't tell if I'm getting it or I'm not. And now, washing my brush off really good. I'm going to go back in with some whites because why I can, because I'm not in a rushed scenario where I have to get an actor out and I only have five minutes to do a makeup look. I can actually take my time to do it. So. Taking it one step further, we did the low lights. Let's do the highlights. And I'm only need to do these on the big ones. Oof, I can't get my angles right. Like I said, I really can't tell if I'm getting those. Oh well. Cool. I'm an infected person, you guys. I'm gonna take my highlights. Gonna highlight those areas there. Like so. And then 
I said in the beginning I would probably come back and do this and so here we are. Giving me some hard lines there. Where we're at, boys and girls. This is the point where I say I'm almost calling it. I'm going to give myself some uh, eyeliner here. helps finish off the look, you know? Do the top waterline because again I'm extra boom and all you need to do is throw in some contacts, give yourself some tooth paint. Hold on. I don't have tooth paint. You guys all know me by now. If you haven't, let me just share a little secret with you. Where is it? Where is it? Where'd it go? Ah, there it is. Okay. So, um, one of the things that I really like using is gel food coloring because it's cheap. I can get it anywhere, any time of year. And I'm going to go with blue today. So, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Yes. Now, I don't have my contacts in, but I'll put my contacts in for the final looks. Oh yeah, that's the, that's the look right there. Oh. I'm letting my freak flags fly today. Okay, cool. I guess I, it's probably good I didn't take a shower this morning first thing because because of this. This right here. Oh look, I look like a zombie Karen right now. 
Look. Look. Oh my God. Yes. Oh God, I'm so sexy. Anyways, you guys get the picture. Oh my craze. All right, guys. I am calling it. And uh, this is Matt Infected Toxic Look. I hope you guys have a spooky day. And uh, see you again at, like I said, 3 o'clock later today uh, for the drag uh, makeup look that I'll be doing. And I appreciate everybody out there. And I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Stay safe. Be smart. And as always, guys, happy scaring. <laughs>